Hello and welcome to Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization 4 Beyond the Sword. So I have all these people that... Oh... That costs a lot of money. Okay. So Angkor Water, that place. Hmm. I'm thinking this place. That sounds like a lot of fun. So let's go take them out. And you're gonna defend this city. Okay, good, good. Oh, I just realized how much I'm winning by. Holy Jesus. Seriously, look at that. 2,000 to 800. How dare that horseman do that? Alright, keep making infantry. Making it betray the Pentagon. Oh my god. Yes. Okay, all of you can start moving then. Whoa, what the? What? Whoa, what's going on? That, that was really weird. Okay then. <laughs> that was seriously like really, really weird. Whatever though. Go attack Angor One. Alright, upgrade. Go down to keep building the army. You keep going building that army. I might as well send my army of death to start building up here instead, but whatever. Attack them. Forgot to set my phone to silent. Okay, um, what was I gonna check? Oh yeah, I wanted to see... Info screen, espionage screen, what is this? Victory conditions. Nine rivals for conquest? Okay. 35% of world population. I have a lot. 56% land area. Not very much. All of those. I'm probably going to win the diplomatic one. I mean, good god, I'm making the Pentagon. Oh, it's not the United Nations. I'm stupid. Sorry for my stupidity. I apologize. Oh well. I'm fighting Gilgamesh, right? I think so. Alright, keep making infiltrate infantry. Not infiltry. Infantry. 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 Sending them northward. I guess that's what I'm gonna call it now. What is with this lag? Oh my god. What the hell? Jesus. I think I know what it is, but it's really weird because. For some reason my computer thinks I only have one gig of RAM, even though I checked and I have a gig and a half. So it's kind of weird. Because it thinks I only have one gig. I'm going to take both of you, and you're going to go up to Nagayara, to, to that place. <laughs> Whatever the hell it's called. Yeah, 
that's what I thought. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. Well, I'll get to the, then I guess I've already lost. <sighs> Fine, do so next opportunity. I'm just winning this war already, so. Well, that's the city I wanted to change, what it's doing, okay. Does it have a harbor yet? No, it does not. You know, map out the entire world for me. <laughs> what is this madness? I destroyed a horse archer. Cool. <coughs> Sorry. Sure, we're always glad to help Cyrus of the Persian Empire. Farewell. Make another infantry. What does this do? Mounted units. <laughs> That's retarded. I'm sorry, that was offensive. You. I go up here. To keep building up my army and stuff, so. Send the weak ones in first, of course. Strong ones, I know. It's important to get stronger, so. I thought I killed at least one of them, though. Okay. I guess I did, or something. Two Axemen. This should be rather easy. I would think so, at least. Or not. That's cool, too. Three, four shots to the face. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. See? Bit by bit, I'm taking over this guy. <laughs> the Kimmer guy. Oh, I'm stupid. I forgot about that. I thought I was at war with Gilgamesh. Eh, I'm actually at war with Suryavaravan. That. You know what? I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. Fine, do this with the next opportunity. Alright, me. Because I'm just that awesome. And egotistic. Or whatever. Alright, you guys are going to wait. Charlemagne, I hate you, Charlemagne. Seriously. I should be the one winning. That's why I need to get rid of Surya of him, Varman, because he's voting against me. So if I take care of him, he can't vote against me, now can he? I'm going to wait for these guys to get there before I do anything. So wait. Can I upgrade any of them? One of them. Wait. Heal. Wait. And then you're gonna start building up this army too. 